everyone, it's Amber and thank you for joining me today on my channel. I'm so glad to be back in my craft room crafting and I'm excited to tell you that I'm going to be doing a Christmas in July series right here on my channel and I'm so, so, so looking forward to this. I've never done any Christmas in July crafting, so this is super exciting for me. I love Christmas crafting. It's my favorite. You should see my stash of Christmas crafts. It's ridiculous. So my plan is to put out at least five ideas for you for Christmas in July. So not only are these Christmas in July ideas for gifts and stocking stuffers, but you can also use these for craft fair ideas. I'm so glad to be back in my craft room again and I want to thank you so much for being so supportive and coming back to my channel and watching my videos. It really means so much to me and I hope that you enjoyed this fun Christmas in July series. So let me show you what I made with today's collection and this one is a gingerbread Christmas by Echo Park. This paper is beautiful. It kind of has like a cutesy kitschy like a vintage vibe but it also is classic and has like the farmhouse kind of country look to it but you can make recipe albums with this you can make really anything with this but today we're going to be making a really cute accordion album and I have done these on my channel before this one's just a bit different and I was totally inspired to make this from my friend Cynthia she is the scrappy bookworm one here on YouTube and she is such an inspiration she makes beautiful crafts and she actually has a Christmas in July series going on on her channel so I'm gonna link it below and I just wanted to also mention another friend that I have doing a Christmas in July series and she is Ginny and she's over at Polly's Paper Studio so if you're into the Christmas in July stuff Definitely go check out her as well. She's doing Christmas in July and her projects are amazing also. So I'm going to link those two channels below. And if I can find any other crafty friends that I have that are doing Christmas in July series, I'll link them as well. So this is what we're going to be making today. It's an accordion album and it was so easy to put together. You just need some solid cardstock and some pattern paper. And of course some trims is optional. But this is what it looks like. I love it so much. Here's my front cover. I think it's so cute. And so this is how the album works. You just open it like this and you've got room for lots and lots of pictures. And I even made some really cute tags to go in here. So here's this one. And I love these tags. You can do lots of journaling on the back. And then there's that beautiful paper. And I put a pocket in here and the pockets are so easy. I'm going to show you how to do it and then you turn the page again there's a solid print over here you can add pictures and then another beautiful tag with different trim and this pretty paper here with the plaid pocket and then again more over here and this one has the pretty lace on it these tags are so easy I'm going to show you exactly how to make them Again, with this cute pocket, and I love the poinsettia paper. So then you flip, and then there's the back cover. So then it opens like this. And I've got the pretty ribbon candy pocket over here with the retro candy canes poster on the tag. This adorable paper here. And then this is a pocket I made with one of the journaling cards. And I stuck two in there, so here's a nice journaling spot and a pretty card, and they're double-sided. The cute gumdrops. So I just stick those right back in there. And then this is the back cover, inside cover, and we're back to the front. And then you just take your pretty seam binding and close it up just like this. You can either use seam binding, ribbon, twine, whatever you want, whatever you have in your stash. Anything will work. So that's what we're going to be making. Isn't it so cute? Let's go ahead and get started. So we're first going to go over the materials you're going to need to make this album. So this is the solid cardstock and you will need three pieces that measure eight and a half by six and a quarter. You need four pieces that measure three and a quarter by six and two pieces that measure six and a quarter by one. 
So for the pattern paper, you're going to need 11 pieces that measure 4 by 6. So here's the 11 pattern pieces that I chose. And these are 4 by 6. And this paper is double sided. And so I was able to use the opposite sides. So this one and this one are the same paper. Um, so that's what I did for those 11. And then for the 12th piece, you need to choose a page that you want to be your cover. You can either do that or you can choose another solid piece and bring in one of these little journal cards, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So I decided I want to make one of these 4 by 6 cut aparts my cover. And so I'm thinking this one that is so cute, um, but I also love this one too. So I'm going to decide when we're all done with the album which one I want to use. But you already know which one I chose because I showed you the project already. Also for the pattern paper, you'll need six pieces that measure three by four. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on this album. So we're going to start off doing just a little scoring. I have my three pieces here that measure eight and a half by six and a quarter. I'm going to put it in here so it's eight and a half at the top. And we're just going to score this in half at four and a quarter. So you could just fold these in half, but I like the crisp um, score line for this project. So there it is. We just scored it right in half at four and a quarter. And you're going to do the same thing for your other two pieces. So then take your two six and a quarter by one inch pieces and stick this in here on the one inch side. And for this, you're going to score right down the middle at one half. Okay, so we have all our scoring done. So now I'm just going to take my pieces and kind of lay them out right next to each other. So I've got all my scored pieces here. Now we need to hinge these two pieces together and that's where these ones come in. Just take your one inch piece and fold on that half inch score line. Just like this. And now I'm just going to add adhesive to each side. So I'm just going to cover this with my wet glue and these little bottles are amazing. I'll link them below in, if you haven't discovered them already. They're just from Amazon and they're really inexpensive. And then you just fill it with your favorite glue. And this is the glue that I filled it with this time. So I'll link both of these products down below for you. So now that we have glue on both ends of that score line, so you're just going to lay this down to where the glue is exposed and you're going to take your first piece here and you're going to lay it down straight on here and not going over that score line but you're going to lay it right down on the glue and make it make sure it's completely even with the top and bottom and then just press it down so now that half of the little strip is adhered to this piece then of course you're going to take your next piece and lay it down on that wet glue just like you did the other one. So now these have a little hinge connecting them. Okay, so now all we have to do is connect these two pieces just the same exact way. So we're going to fold this in half. Flip this over and here's where you can see the hinges right here and right here and just take your bone folder and press that down make sure it's nice and glued and flat and flat so I had flipped it over as you saw and these are the hinges right here so this now becomes the inside of your accordion album and this is the easiest way that I have found to put this together and fold it up so now what you're gonna do is take your first fold and crease it on the score line. So this is essentially right here going to be your front cover. 
Okay, so now you're just going to continue and fold this like an accordion. So now you take this and where that hinges, you're going to fold it back like an accordion. Okay, so what we did so far is we did this one, this one, and then of course the next one is forward. The next one is back. And then the last one is forward. And so now we have our cute little accordion album all assembled and ready to decorate. But let me show you a quick flip through of what it's going to look like. So again, here's our front cover. So it opens like this, like this, like this, and like that. And then it opens again right here, right here, and right there. And then we're back to the front cover. Now we get to do the fun part, which is adhere all the beautiful paper and make this into a really cute accordion mini album. Okay, so if you remember, we pulled our 11 pieces here. So I'm going to start on the inside. And all you do is just adhere these down. So I'm going to use my little tape runner right here. I wish scrapbook.com would restock these. I'll check again and link them below for you if they did. Um, if not, I will... Oh, I always link some similar ones. And I think I want plaid right here. Plaid is first. So I'm just gonna take my adhesive and, okay. This is really smooth. I like it a lot. I do love my ATG gun and I will go back to that, but I've been enjoying using these. So then this fits perfectly and there's gonna be a craft cardstock border all the way around this and it's gonna look so nice with this gingerbread paper okay so our first page is down let me just make sure it's nice and burnished this is so fun I love adhering a lot of paper to stuff it's like my favorite thing to do so again this is the cover that we're gonna be decorating last but here's our first page and then I think I'll do like a picture -y page on the next one so I think we'll do the gingerbread right here. Wouldn't that look super cute? And you can unfold these so you can get it nice and flat. Okay, so there's our second page. It's so cute. I'm gonna finish up the rest of the inside pages and I'll put that on fast speed, set to music for you, and then we'll come back and continue on with our album. Okay, so I'm done putting all 11 pages on here. So here's what it looks like so far. It's so cute. I love how it's turning out. There's the back page, and then it continues on, and we're back to the front page. So the next thing we're gonna do is open it up again, and I wanna add some pockets. So that's where those cute little short pages come in. So this is completely up to you of how many pockets you want but I wanna do a cute little pocket right here. You can do the plaid right there. And then the green here would look really good. So let me show you kind of what I have set up here. 
So I've got three pockets here on this side of the album. And so for that, I'm going to use my wet glue and a circle punch. So you see me do this on my channel many, many times where I take a circle punch and for a little pull notch on the pocket. So you just take it and put it kind of a third of the way up the circle punch just like this and you punch out a little cute notch. So it's going to look really good right there and then it looks like a true pocket. So for that I'm just going to use wet glue and here's my pocket so I'm just going to glue the three sides very thin bead down the sides and to seal up the bottom. And then this is the exact same size as your pattern paper on here, so just line it up. Just like this. I think that looks so adorable, and then of course cute little things can fit in there, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put in here. It's so adorable and cute, and you can really put whatever you want in there. But this is a great way to use up your collection and actually use the things in your collection. So. I'm going to go ahead and glue down this pocket and this pocket the exact same way. Okay, so here's our accordion album so far with all the cute pages and the pockets. So now let me close this up and then turn it to the other side and open it. So I wanted to show you that I took the 12 by 12 paper that was full of these three by four decorative cut aparts. And there was one that was facing this way. So I thought I could use that as a really cute pocket right there. But in just a second, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with these cute decorative cut aparts. Okay, so I got those two pockets glued down. So now let's work on the front and back covers. So I think I decided on this for my front cover, and then of course I saved the gingerbread for the back cover. But before we adhere those on, I want to add a closure, and I love using ribbon or seam binding for this because it's nice and thin and lays flat, and it can go right under the cardstock. Okay, so this is, happens to me sometimes. I thought I was filming, and I wasn't. So I'll show you the parts that you missed, obviously, because I didn't have the camera on, and I thought I did. So all I did was adhere the front cover, just like normal, so it looks super cute with a craft border all the way around. And for the closure, and what I was talking about with the seam binding, is you just lay it across the back cover, like this, so you lay down adhesive on that craft card stock, you lay down one piece of the seam binding flat, then you put another strip of adhesive over the seam binding and lay the other one flat. So now you have two pieces just adhered to that back cover. And then you lay your back cover piece, and of course I saved the gingerbread. And this is your closure because once you flip through your album, you close it up just like this and it's super cute and it just gives it a nice finishing touch just like that. So I hope that made sense. I've done it before on my channel. Um, sorry I wasn't filming on that part but this is what it looks like now. So this is why you do it on just the back cover because you will flip it like this, beautiful pages, and then you turn it and you can open it like this now. And then here is the other side of that album. And then we're back to the front. So this closes it up really nicely with the seam binding. And the last part, I'm going to show you what we're going to put in these pockets. It is so fun, but let me show you what we're going to put in these pockets. So these are the four pieces that measure three and a quarter by six. And we're going to turn these into cute little tags. So let me try to find my angle punch. So I have this We Are Memory Keepers angle chomper. And I'm going to use the large side to chomp the top two corners. And it's going to turn it into a tag. So if you don't have this, you can just use your scissors to make a little angle.
So now just take any hole punch that you have and just eyeball the center. So I'm going to use my crop dial because that's the one I have. And actually, I'm just going to stack these all together and then just eyeball the center and just punch your hole. So now we have four tags. And these can be for Christmas tags or whatever you want to use them for. But we're going to decorate them with those cute 3 by 4 cards that come with the collection. So here's the ones that I have. They're all super cute. So I know I for sure want this one on one. So now it's so simple. I don't even do anything else. I just adhere these down. So now that I have all the cute little cards adhered to the tag, I just want to add some trim on the top. So you can add eyelets to this if you want, but I think I'm going to show you how to do it to where you don't even need the eyelets. So I think it's going to look really cute to have a different trim at the top of each one. So let's work on this one first. So for this one, I'm just going to simply Put this end of the ribbon in here and bring it up like that. And I think I'll tie some red and white twine around it. Super easy. So I'm going to do a double knot on the twine. And then a little bow. Trim that twine. And then our tag is super cute, but I'm just going to trim the top part just a little bit. So there's our first tag. I think it's so adorable. So I'm going to stick that aside. And now let's work on this one. This is going to be a little tricky because this lace is very small. They all look so cute together. The different trims on the top. I love how they turned out. Okay, so let's do the fun part now. Let's find where to put these in our cute little album. So first pocket, hmm, I think this one would look super cute right here. Gingerbread Baking Company. And I love how it sticks out the top. It's gonna make it look so cute. So then we have one here. Skip that one for now. Let's put this one in here. Then we've got more here. I think this one would look super cute here. Let's leave this one for now and then we'll go and put this Christmas tree one right here. So for this one, let's see, we left one of these empty. 
yeah, we left the Merry Christmas one empty. I'm going to pick a couple of these cute cards to stick in there. Ooh. Wishing you love, happiness, and good cheer. That's super cute. And then we could stick this in there because that would be like a good journaling spot. So it's this one here. So that looks good. And let's close this up and take a look at it now. Look at all those beautiful trims sticking out the top. I love it so much. So let's do a little flip through of our album. Here's the front. We've got the cute tag in there. So what I would do with these albums is I would put a picture here and then I would take this tag and do journaling all on the back. Maybe you could use this for your December daily, anything. And then again, picture here in journal on this tag. You can also use the tags for your gifts, depending on what you're doing with this album. So a nice picture could go there. And then here's this cute tag. And then of course it opens this way. We've got the candy cane tag. I love that vintage candy cane tag. Such cute paper. And then we've got the two journaling cards in there and a picture can go there and then we're back to the front. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. I had so much fun creating this accordion album. Again, Cynthia at the Scrappy Bookworm One is the inspiration behind this. I'm going to link her Christmas in July series below. She made one of these albums years and years and years ago and she was making a bunch of them and I was making a bunch of them because of her and I've just never lost interest in this type of album. So I hope that you'll give it a try. It's the perfect tag holder or December daily, anything. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support and love and for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for my next Christmas in July video. It's coming up very soon. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.